Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new server. We're jumping in again. This time we're going to go as the good old deleted. I promised it and it is here, of course. Of course. How was everyone's Christmas? It should have just gone Christmas when I'm uploading this, I think. So yeah, how was everyone's Christmas? Um, and yeah, who are we going to play as? Um, start with random stats and items appearance and an old virus which spawns many variants. I can't remember what the hell this one does. Um... I can't remember. I love you, Morris. Starts with the D14 to 6 room charge, which corrupts one room only. Let's give this a go, shall I? Uh, it's not as. I don't know. No corrupted items. Use extracts to reroll any item while adding a negative effect to it. No red hearts. We did that recently. Um, delete it. Delete it is stuck in corrupted form. Use clean to reverse the corruption. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll try this out. We'll try this out. That sounds that sounds pretty good. I like stuck in the corrupted form. And then, yeah, we can clean to change the corruption. I'm surprised that, like, actual enemies and, like, the floor pan isn't all corrupted like it is when you normally use it. But I'm guessing it just means that all of our items are always corrupted. Which is going to be kind of interesting. And, yeah, we can use clean to, to clean up an item, which I don't know if I'll be doing very often. <laughs> I'm, I'm always really down for the chaos with this guy, so... I think, and I think you guys very much are too, so... This is always a really, really hard room. In fact, this this room's... It's kind of BS a little bit. Pop this pill. You've got to kind of, like, work your way around and try and get a few shots in here and there. We managed to do it without getting hit. I'm pretty proud of myself about that. But yes, how was everyone's Christmas? Obviously, it hasn't been my Christmas yet. I'm still pre-recording, but I think every one of you will have done your Christmas celebrations or whatever you ended up doing on that day um, by now. And it'd be interesting to know what people got up to. Um, I think I asked what you were going to do, but now I'm asking what you did do. Also, it, this, this video is either going out on Boxing Day or the day after, I think, so maybe what you're doing on Boxing Day as well. Okay, the D4... On red key, get Neptunus until the next floor. Each boss kill, use whatever that is. Okay, that's that's pretty good. We'll take that. We, did, we do not have red key, though, so that, <laughs> that part of it doesn't do anything for us right now. But it's good that we can see what item it is so we can clean it if it ends up being something really good. Obviously, the D4, not not that interested. Unfortunately, here, we do have the chance to uh, to die. What on earth was that? <laughs> Oh, dude, 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 dude! I might, I might genuinely die here. This is pretty awful. It was that fly that got me. Okay, good. Kind of interesting idea to have this brick fall down whenever we kill a boss. And then we get on hit use D4. After four hits, get that to the next floor, spawn three shop heaters. Give us ancient chance to spawn nine attack flies. That sounds chaotic as hell. I mainly wanted the heart container, but yeah, we we now use the D4 on hit. I don't know how the D4 works with deleted items, but this could be ridiculously wacky. This this could really fly off the rails very, very quickly, and I'm I am all for that. Let's see what we got in here. The mulligan. Every 12 rooms on 6 bombs, get magic skin, tears up each boss kill. Every 10 rooms, 80% chance... Okay, we'll take that too. We also gain magic skin out of this as well, which I actually kind of like. Also, gaining 2 times toxic shock until we next get hit is very, very nice. I absolutely love toxic shock. It's one of the better items in the game, I think. Unfortunately, it did not affect these little buddies, which I was really hoping it would. There you go. Luckily, they were quite weak from the toxic shock already. E rooms like that are just the creme de la creme. When when the room just kind of ends. Oh, bugger. Okay, so I don't know what's happened now. I think we've re-rolled. We just got an estrogen up pill as well there. Yeah, we have because we've got the book of sin now. But I don't know what happens to our deleted items. I don't know if they re-roll as well because obviously we don't know what they are. Do they just re-roll into random deleted items now? I'm really unsure about that. This 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 could really lead to some chaos.
Yeah. Trying to stop doing this attack, but it's a little bit difficult. Don't lob- yeah, I was li literally just about to say don't lob out your little children, please. If you can help it. And you got flies as well. So I don't think it's rerolled our deleted items, which is kind of intriguing. As... Ooh, each, each room 71% chance to spawn seven times haunted chest spawn... T oh, big tears down as well, but the haunted chest sounds fun. <laughs> it sounds crazy. 71% chance to spawn a bunch of haunted chests every room. And we do get our toxic shocks as well. I, don't, I didn't even get a chance to see what that did, I'll be honest. This is fucking chaos, man. <laughs> Just cleaning out the room. Right. What's this one? 12 pills. Yeah, why not? Health down. At least we got a health up there. Okay. This is going to be crazy. This is going to be absolutely bonkers. I have to say our tears are pretty bad right now. God damn. Take that trinket as well, thank you. Oh my god, it's going to be just the most chaos you've ever seen. <laughs> I do I do absolutely love this um this character though. Just it's just so fun to like basically play the deleted challenge in a way that's even more wacky <laughs> essentially. Right, what we got going on here? We definitely got nurse goblin in there, so we'll take that. Right. Uh yeah, we'll take that. And then what's what's going on with this? Yeah. And then we've also got an item here now. Tears up to you. Oh, yes, please. Lots of tears up. Thank you. Very happy for the tears up. <laughs> oh, we're going to get so many items from this because uh, haunted chests can actually spawn items nowadays. Right. Um, no, thank you. Yeah, why not? Why are the items keep spawning when I get another item? Five times confessionals. There you go. <laughs> okay, this time we didn't get it. We didn't get any of the chests. That's that's probably a good thing. <laughs> okay, whatever these fires that I'm shooting out all over the place are, probably pretty good for us. Oh, we got anti grab at this point as well, apparently. Um, bunch of almond milks. Why not? Why not add to the the chaos? <laughs> yeah, every time I enter a room, it uses that um, that pepper item that just uses a bunch of fires, which is probably pretty good for us. This plus anti grab isn't great, I've got to say. This plus anti grab is pretty weird. Come on, dude, why do they have to be champions, man? <laughs> Takes long enough to kill things as it is. As if it's seventy-one percent chance as well. That's such a high chance. Um, yeah. Oh my lord. There's a death certificate over there as well that I can't get. I need flight, game. I need flight. Why does there have to be a golden bomb in here as well? Right, crack this bad boy open. Okay, get some luck. On hit, lose three pennies. On spawn, spawn nine. Poop flies. Do that, why not? There is so much going on right now. There's another big chest here. I've not seen even what most of these items do right now. Oh, no. No. It just gulped that trinket, and that trinket makes us into the lost, like, permanently. We're probably dead here. Yeah. 
Why are we gulping trinkets? We just instantly gulp them. Right. I got so many golden pennies, what's going on? Clean. We got death certificate. We actually got death certificate right. Oh, this is annoying. Oh, I don't have clean ready! Shit! But, I need to- basically now, I need to find an item that makes us incredibly invincible. <laughs> this is- I don't have clean to reverse this shit. Okay. Yeah, I need to find something that makes us basically unkillable. Which is probably going to be pretty hard. I'm trying to think what that would be. Um... God damn it, this is insane. <laughs> Oh my god, this is absolutely insane. Oh my god. Nothing yet. Two times. Oh, not seen anything like even that good yet, really. Do you look? No. Nah. Wait, what does this do? The shattered thing? Rerolls items in the room to... Um, how does this work in here? Okay. Okay. Um, I don't want 31 blood gush. Don't know what that is. Creep on active use. Get a temporary that. I think that's fine. Hmm. It says get all those until hit. That is a revive. But get those until hit means it only works once, right? We need something that gives us unlimited revives. Uh, no. On, on death. Oh, no. On jump, use four times death. Not on death. Okay. This is... <laughs> oh, my God. This is absolute chaos. I might be here a little while. Let's be honest, I might be here a little while. There's a lot to read. Um, I need something that like gives me Holy Mantle or something as well. You Soul of Isaac, no. First hit each room, so two eternal hearts. Two, two eternal chests, no. Oh my god. This is just too much reading. While we're here, just put on some music. <laughs> Relax. Every kill, no. Instead of dying once, no, that doesn't really work for us either. Every 20 is... I just need something that gives me, like, Holy Mantle or something like that. Or just gives me a lot of revives. Because otherwise we are going to die a lot. On boss kill. There's been a, quite a few good items here. They're just not ones that will save my life. Because at the minute I'm in a very dire situation. Um, each room 95% chance to get that until hit. That's pretty good. God damn. Oh my god, there's so many of these that are really good. But I need something that keeps me alive. I mean, I've got a lot of rooms to check here, but I don't want to stay here for literally ever. Like, six times cards, throwable bomb, 14 cracked orb, poofs. Don't think that's going to help us too much. Okay, through to this room. Oh, oh no, I didn't think they'd be in here. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I didn't think they'd be in here. I should not have I should not have done that. But that trinket, having that be absorbed was uh not the greatest of ideas for us really, was it? Oh no. We've had this issue again where it's black screen. Oh no, we're good, we're good. Okay. Ooh, wait, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Can I just get like a really good item off the bat here? 
This is kind of interesting. We can use the Isaac's Champion here to try and get like a really good item off the bat. Just start our run off right. You just some of these effects are not very good though. Just use Sword the Loss and that's it. Get um whatever that is. No. Let's try and get a half decent one to start off this run. On poop, use pill. 0 0.2 damage. Oh baby. On hit, use pill. That, that could be good, but it could also be terrible. Every 40 seconds, gain Lazrags. Do you know what? That seems pretty good. Every 40 seconds, gaining a Lazrags. That's just permanent extra revives. That's the sort of thing we were looking for before. We could have just sat there and waited and got a bunch of revives. Pacific smelted that goddamn trinket. I didn't think like I had anything that smelted. That's why I picked it up, but... I just wanted the flight from it to get... um. Over the gap. And then what we got going on in here. Every seven rooms. Um, yeah, why not? Oh, Lord. <laughs> I was wondering why I gained stats from that. Do you see these dodges right now, people? Do you see these dodges? How am I meant to hit things like this game? The curl on this is egregious. The curve on this is not conducive to success. Oh my god. Okay, so we've, we've created some really, really meh runs here. I'm hoping this one just gets off the rocker as well pretty soon. And I'm sure it will. Seems to be just how this character goes, but I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I just find it so funny that I got Death Certificate and none of the items were actually the items he said they were. What I probably would have done if, I, if I'd have got um, that is I probably would have taken nine lives or something. If I could have taken a real item. Do you know what? It's probably better to just be a pacifist here and let this room sort itself out because I can't really hit you effectively. I accidentally used clean. Uh, clean. I didn't mean to. I was itching my ear. But yeah, at least we've just got a stacking, infinite stacking revives here. <laughs> you do you, baby plum. You do you. Until you want to fly away, which should be any second now. While we wait for our last rags to keep stacking up. Okay, there you go. Um. Spawn five times shell games. Every 32 minutes spawn Gabriel. Eh, okay. Don't think that matters too much to us. Yeah, we need some really strong herming. Oh, hello, shell games. How are you? Oh, wait. We, we have normal tears now. Okay, okay. I'm guessing that that little worm thing gives us a, a different worm trinket each floor. Is what I'm understanding that does now. So, we just got unlucky with the worm trinket we got that floor. So we're okay now-ish. I'm liking the odd piercing tear in there. It's very nice. Also, I deleted little babies. Look at look at them go. I say look at them go as they do absolutely nothing to help me with this combat, but... Hey her. Every 11 rooms summon 3 poof 4s. Spawn 20 hearts. Use a magician. Gives luck. Spawn 5 random monsters. Oh god. Oh god. Luckily I have four revives. I'm fine. Okay, this is... I'm not fine. Five random monsters? What the fuck's going on? <laughs> Why is there so many ghosts? Where did they come from? Okay, they're gone now at least. <laughs> Where the hell did all those ghosts come from? That was crazy. Oh my god, at least we have many revives. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Alright, I'm still deleted. Or are we Lazarus and it's just like, that's it now? Because if that's the case, we gotta, we gotta re-roll this run. <clears throat> Let's go into my shop and just see if my items are still glitched. Because if they're not, this is a fat restart. We can't be playing without glitched items. Come on now. That's just heatheness. Okay, no, they are still glitched. Good. Good, good, good. 
We just have no way of unglitching them. Uh -uh. It's okay, I've got another revive. To be fair, <laughs> just keep dying to get more and more damage. Every 40 seconds I can get a damage up just from dying. That kind of works out for me. Ooh, we got these glass head boys. I really like these enemies. They're really cool. They're not the most fitting design of enemy for this for this game, but I think they're really cool regardless. They they're very well sprited and kind of an interesting mechanic for a carrot for an enemy. They seem a little strange for the, the early floor they appear on, I think is my sort of I was a problem with them, but my thoughts on him. Um Okay. Uh. Five times spider babies seemed fun. Uh. Cool. Let's keep going. Yeah, five times spider babies just seemed like a lot of extra effects happening to enemies. Okay, we're all good. There you go, you were slurred. I also got the spider, spider baby transformation from that as well, I think. I also have 7.2 damage. Not bad. Not bad at all. I always hate this room. I don't actually have flight. I look like I have flight. I do not have flight. This, what is going on with this item? Okay, this item's just Juicy Sack. Damn. Okay, we might be, we might be outside of glitch territory now. Which isn't, isn't as fun. Te okay, what we could do, what we could do is we could do give bit flip. And then at least we have a way of corrupting items ourselves. And we could still play a corrupted run, even though it's not corrupted, sort of thing. Okay, no, the items are still are still corrupted. Um, yeah, okay. This is yeah, this is still still a bit wacky, but we're nearly unkillable. Every forty seconds, we get an extra life. I think that's pretty good going. This item, we have no idea what it does. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, do we have Junkin? Is that Junkin we've got there? What the hell? What mod added Junkin? I love the spider, I mean, that's what happened. And it just spawns a little Junkin that just kind of stands there. Intriguing. Oh, that's a lot of uh, troll bombs. Is that just on room clear that happens, or is there a specific reason that was uh, that was caused? I don't, I don't particularly know. Okay, it seems to be on enemy kill, small chance to just spawn a ton of troll bombs, which is intriguing to say the least. Bit of HP there, lovely. Yeah, I think we're going to get a lot of these little Junkins that don't really do anything for a little while here. Oh my god. How could it be? It's been so long. There you go, we got it. I love this room. This is one of the rooms I designed, and it's one of my favorite rooms. You can either just kill him, or you can use uh, a bunch of bombs to get a free item. Oh, that was just regular butt bombs. I really like it. It's one of my favorite, like, secret rooms I've designed. That's one of the first times I've ever seen it in a regular run, I think. It's super rare. A lot of fun, though. Yeah, we'll change it over to glitched mode forever. Have we got to do a pair of room, have we? This is weird. Oh, God. Ah, key. Thank you. So we don't know when it's glitched. Okay, there you go. That was definitely glitched. 
That was definitely glitched. Oh, you're very small, good sir. We'll be back out again. Oh my god. Whoa! Do you see that Junkin? <laughs> There's a Junkin that just like flies off the screen. It's hilarious. Oh, do we have Brownie in there somewhere? We have Brownie. God damn it. I was really hoping we wouldn't have to deal with Brownie. I did see it in one of the item descriptions, but I thought it'd be something we wouldn't have to deal with. Unfortunately, I was wrong. Good thing is we have a lot of damage right now. Clairvoyance? Is that a random pill usage? Or are we always going to use clairvoyance? We shall see, I guess. We shall see. Easy kill on you. Bunch of troll bombs still. Fuck me. What the hell? Is that getting over at Bennett Foddy? <laughs> Why have we got so many vanilla wafers? <laughs> There's so many vanilla wafers. Oh my god. The chaos has ensued, people. The chaos has ensued. I very much like flights, so I have to deal with brownie. Oh no, I've died. What am I ever gonna do? Just revive. Yeah, little Junkin just zooms off away from us the moment a room starts. Seems to be a low chance to get the troll bomb. This doesn't happen every room. Seems to happen in the big rooms quite often, though. Yeah. Luckily, they spawn in quite a quite a pleasing way, but it's actually pretty easy to get away from them if they do spawn. Yeah, okay, so it is with Clairvoyance. Basically, we have no more curses. It's Clairvoyance removes curses, so that's actually kind of nice. Ah, oh, no goddamn key. No goddamn key. Oh, there is a key back there, actually. We'll go grab that real quick. Oh, I wonder... I wonder what will bring this run crashing down, because there's going to be something. I mean, obviously at the moment, we're, like, pretty unkillable, but I'm I'm curious to see what ends up killing us. I'm sure I'll get a combination at some point that'll be devastating. Um, On Penny spawn a random monster. That sounds pretty horrific. We'll take it. Always the random monster ones are pretty rough, because random monster... It could be an easy little fly. It could be one of the hardest enemies in the game. You never know. And a lot of the time, it tends to be the hardest enemies in the game. It doesn't pull punches. It does not pull any punches. Nice. So why is the key on that? To be fair, rando bag. Spawn three blob donation machine. Eh. I don't know what, what, that, what that is. <laughs> a good old blood donation machine. I'm trying to use um, my electric whenever I can, because it's actually doing quite a bit of damage. Brownie. God damn it. Yeah, as long as I don't die once every 40 seconds, I should be fine. <laughs> Which technically should be pretty easy to do, but you know me. There's, there's plenty of things that could change how that works. Ultra secret room. Oh, we get brownie when we enter a secret room. That's what it is. Okay, why is there just a bunch of random enemies spawning constantly? I'm very confused by that. Oh, really? You're going to do one of these rooms? I got to do this game. That's okay, this one wasn't too bad. Where are you gonna spawn, you little fellas? God damn it, it's so annoying having a, uh, what's it called? The skate you around item, brownie. Just skating into enemies constantly. Just give me flight, please. Let me out of this hell. Oh, hello. Oh, dude. We got a pot that allows us to, like, hit things. Bennett Foddy, you see the top left? Look, if I use it, so if I don't use it, I'm fine. If I do use it, I've got a hammer. Interesting. Is this one of the, uh, one of the items from, what's it called? Uh, the pack. What's the pack called? The warp zone pack. I think it is, isn't it? It seems really good. I'm doing 77 damage on a hit, which is, oh, really? What the hell just happened? I'm back over here. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to use this a lot. This seems very strong. I'm guessing this is an S tier item. Unfortunately, I can't see any description of it. Yeah, look at that 79 damage. God damn. Give me this back. Delete this. Remove this. Right. <laughs> Away we go. I'm reckoning the small the, the, the spawn random monster plus um the troll bombs is probably gonna be our demise. Cause yeah, I don't know what's going on with the spawn random monsters, but it's happening a lot. I mean, that, ha oops, that, that helps us get out of little shenanigans there, here and then. Excuse me, good sir, I hit you. It seems to be like when there's bosses around, there's a lot of random monsters, which causes issues. Okay, just at this point, we got to keep beelining it, try and find the item room, try and find the boss. Otherwise, I'm going to get hit and use a fucking fool card every goddamn time. We've still got 10 lives remaining, mind you. Still got 10 lives remaining. Okay. Not too bad. We've got a lot of friendship necklaces going on as well. It's always fun. The soul heart there, but honestly, we just can't even pretends to care right now. Oh, dude. Four times Synthoil has given us very big range on this thing. Because the Forgotten... I've got the mod that makes the Forgotten Swing affected by range. Pretty good stuff. The tower. Oh, no, the tower. I'm so scared of troll bombs. But yeah, having the Forgotten Swing increase the swing size probably makes this a lot more powerful than it normally is. Dude, that same enemy has hit me like every time now. Just just stop stretching your little neck out and let me hit you and not get hit by you, please. Thank you. Oh, this is infuriating. Stop sending me back to the original room. This is going to take forever. Didn't think it'd be this bad. Thought we'd be okay. Dude, where the fuck did that little bomb come from? There was a tiny little bomb on the floor. Oh, I've got the little bomb buddy. You little, you little cock. God damn it. My goodness. What we got going on in here then? Take whatever this is. Oh no, again with more troll bombs. It seems to be picking up consumables is what's there, spawning random enemies as well, so... Need to also avoid that. Does it work? Okay, no, it, it seems to be coins specifically. Holy shit, okay. This is something. Well, probably for the best. <laughs> I love all the little Junkins. <laughs> Every time I enter a room, there's just these glitched out Junkins zooming across the screen. It's kind of perfect. Right, what's going to be in this room waiting for us? I, I, I dread to think. There is, yeah, there's almost no way. I, I think we're genuinely stuck at this point. I think this might be the end of the run, because I just don't see how we're going to get through that room without getting hit by any of those troll bombs or mum, or any of the enemies that seemingly spawn directly after she dies. This will be kind of a, a weird little endless loop we're stuck in here, I think. Because, like, what the actual fuck is happening here? Like, how, how am I meant to avoid that? Epidomolysis. 
yeah. <laughs> we might have we might have accidentally reached our uh, our tipping point here. I mean, we'll try our best to get through this, but based on the amount of stuff that spawns after she dies, I'm gonna say it's not particularly plausible, especially with this fool card nonsense going on. Because it's like it's not even like I can buy a soul heart to make sure I like stay out of it. The thing is, as well, it takes us roughly 20 seconds to get there and die every time. So we're actually, like, even though we are dying, we are uh, also slowly but surely making our way to another revive. I can't, I literally can't get away from the troll bombs. They all spawn on me and I just can't get away. There's no way to do it. Because, like, you see, we're still on eight lives. <laughs> this is purgatory. Quite literally, we're just stuck in this endless loop. I really want to try and do it, because I, I feel like it is plausible to, to get this done. Nah. What the hell hit me then? None of the bombs exploded. Sometimes it's really confusing what, what I'm getting hit by. <laughs> My god. Oh, one second, I need to sneeze. <coughs> apologies. Ugh, apologies, apologies. How have I got nine lives now? I've got more lives than when I goddamn started. Right. Why is there so many enemies? What the hell? Why is there so... What the... What's going on with this? Why was there that many enemies? I'm just forming an army of, of flyaway Junkins at the moment. <laughs> no! I almost did it! I almost did it! I was so close! Okay, I've I've got a game plan now. This is this is definitely feels like the definition of, in, of insanity, but I think we've actually got a path to victory. I've just got to be really careful of where I step. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm, I'm starting to understand now. If she spawns an enemy, we're fucked. If she spawns any enemy, we're literally fucked. So we've got to try and kill her before she spawns anything. Otherwise, shit hits the fan real fast. I think we can do that. I think we can do that. <laughs> we're just going to be real quick on the kill. I mean, we're going to have to deal with bombs this time around anyways. Oh my god. So, so what's... The problem is as well, like, what's the deal with all the fucking red bombs? Like, if it was just the troll bombs, I could navigate out of them, but there's so many red bombs. And they're like in the way to the point where I can't escape. I got one time where I escaped free. And I'm, I'm, I'm holding on to that time. <laughs> like, look at this. I just can't get out before they explode. Also, another thing that's really problematic is that troll bombs just have a random timer. So some of them are blowing up almost instantly because there's so many. Like, the variance of how when troll bombs can explode is pretty wide. And so... so with that amount of troll bombs, there's always going to be one or two that basically just explode instantly. And those are the ones that are killing me. Oh, if there wasn't that enemy there. Dude, I was so close there. I didn't realise it was an enemy. It's like I want to swing, but it'll end up picking up a red bomb if I swing, so... It's a little difficult. I actually got out of the, the troll bombs there, though. We will do this, people. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. Oh, ball sacks. God damn it. What is going on with this boss? Why does it spawn so many enemies? And why do I have to have this fucking fool card on hit thing going on? This is the the worst bit about it is like I could just stay and tank the damage and it won't let me.
Well, look, I literally can't physically get through the goddamn bombs. Also, my Junkins seem to have, uh, seem to have decided not to fly away anymore. There's so many of them, they've now formed their army and they're willing to sit, st like, sit tight, hold off. It's just, just too many enemies. <laughs> Is there anything I can do? I don't know. Is there anything I can do? Let's try and not have the the pot out and maybe see if that helps. I doubt it will, but see if that changes anything. If not, I think we're gonna have to sack room and try and skip the floors. Just to get out of this. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, wait, I, I didn't te teleport it there. I think it was the pot that was doing it to us this whole time, you know. It was the pot. It was the pot that was doing it. What the hell? I've saved myself somehow. <laughs> We managed to get through it by process of elimination. So There's still too many troll bombs game. Also, a bomb exploded on you, my guy. How did you not die? Still going to lose lives fairly rapidly here. We'll just see how it goes. I love my little Junkins just chilling out here. Oh my god. Do you know how I said let's not die any more than once every 40 seconds? And I was like, we can do that. Guess what? We can't do that. <laughs> we can't do that. We are not good enough. Oh, it's not even the right way, God damn it! We're going to need to be going the right way all the time here. <laughs> this is just something else, man. I mean, I suppose I could use this for, like, clearing rooms. And just know that if I get hit, it's going to annoy me. But I suppose we're clearing rooms pretty quick with 28 damage anyway, so it's not exactly necessary. Excuse me, guy. Guy. Come on now. I was feeling good about myself for a little bit there. Okay, and this spawns the billion enemies. No troll bombs this time, though. Oh, fuck. There's brimstones coming in. Oh my god. Give me that. No, I thought I was going to go through before it fucking hit me. Okay, we lost like four lives there. We're on six lives left now. It's fine, it's fine, it's all fine. We got a wacky worm going on here, I think. <clears throat> this army of junkins that's just chilling all the time. No, not the troll bombs. Not the troll. Oh, there's too many troll bombs. We can't do anything here. We're at the whim of the game now. So at a certain point, there's not much we can do to help ourselves. <clears throat> okay, unfortunately, I do think we are going to end up perishing here. Just by the nature of too many troll bombs and the like. Also, Brownie. I keep forgetting how bad Brownie is. My god. I keep sliding into enemies. So that made things a bit easier, right? Okay, there's the fool. There's the fool being used. Just gotta be aware that's a thing. It's the damage on this is just too good to give up on. Kinda depends on the room to if we want to use it or not. 
Also, basically what I could just do is, if I think I'm gonna get hit, I should just pop it. Pop the, the pot. Switch back to normal mode. Like in here, for example. Get a good few hits on her. See if we can get the kill. And swap back before I take damage. Oh my lord. Right, what did I take? I don't even remember. I guess I'm going up. <laughs> I don't remember what's going on. How am I still alive? Holy shit, okay. Now that's a lot of range. That is a lot of range. It blashes the bombs away pretty easily as well, there you go. Right, what next? My god, this has been... Get out of here, you. We'll have none of your nonsense. Anytime I kill a boss, it just causes some utter chaos. Oh, fuck. I walked right into that guy. God damn it. So many Junkins. Oh, no. There was a bomb there. That, that little bomb fucker. Very, very, very frustrating to have him around. He keeps dropping bombs and he's like, I'm not going to tell you that was there. That's just going to it's gonna hurt you. Oh, I thought I could escape in time there, for fuck's sake. Okay, just stop using the pot. It's very annoying. It's very annoying. Nope, want to use it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... Some rooms are just too annoying. It's nice to be able to kill multiple of them in one hit. Ow. We might die before we even get to Isaac at this point. We did, we did just get another life, though. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I love all the Junkins getting hit by the bombs. Okay. Three lives remain. Three live remain. Guessing we're going up from here. Not entirely sure though. You know, that's what I like to see, but another quick simple death there. While I try to escape this room. Oh! Interesting wine version of that dude. That's cool. Come my junkie junkins. <clears throat> they're just surrounding everything. They are always here. Oh, you locked me in, you little shit. Okay. Last few lives here. Okay, get a good amount of damage there, then back to normal here. We are at least going to get Isaac by the looks of it. Yeah, we got Isaac done at least. Oh, fuck's sake. But we might die. Okay, we didn't die. Okay, we beat the run. <laughs> that, was, that was insane. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.